sportsman James Clyburn of South Carolina. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for having me, Martin. Thank you, sir. Your district is home to a good number of military personnel, some of whom likely make too little money to pay federal income taxes. How do you feel when you hear Mr. Romney refer to your constituents as people who, quote, feel entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it? You know, uh, I'm now beginning to understand exactly why they did not mention uh, the military at all uh, when they uh, had their convention. I now understand why on uh, today uh, the Senate failed uh, to do uh, the Bill of Rights, or I'm sorry, the uh, Job Corps uh, for uh, veterans returning uh, from uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. These people seem to have no sensitivity uh, to the people who get up every morning and work hard, the people who go out and secure us, our policemen, our firefighters, the people who go off to war uh, to keep us uh, safe and secure uh, in this country. Their sensitivity seem not to be there for these kinds of people. But and Congressman, the Mr. Romney's for virtually everything is to do nothing on foreclosures, leave the housing market to collapse, on the motor industry, let Detroit go bankrupt. I mean, given that he has no interest in intervening in anything, why on earth do you think he wants to become president? That's the thing that uh, is sort of uh, puzzling to me, except that maybe he's just interested in uh, uh, being a, a resume building. Uh, he would love to be president of the United States. He doesn't want uh, to really uh, give service to the country. He doesn't want to give a contribution to the country. He doesn't want to protect the people. He wants the title to be president. And that goes down uh, as a part of who and what his resume uh, was all about uh, when he passed uh, this way, uh, as they say uh, in, in my church. The fact of the matter is Mitt Romney seemed not to be in touch with ordinary people who work hard every day, uh, people who uh, earn income. You know, the earned income tax credit, uh, which allows a working family uh, not to pay taxes, is a Republican program. Absolutely. It was, it was Milton Friedman's idea. It was Paul Absolutely. Ryan's guru who recommended that as an ideal uh, incentive for the working poor. And yet now they treat these people with contempt. Uh, absolutely. I mean, Ronald Reagan uh, said that it was the best anti-poverty program going when he expanded, uh, expanded the program after it was signed into law uh, by uh, President Ford. So these are real good make-work-pay kind of programs uh, that George Romney seemed to be uh, very disdainful of. I don't quite understand that except that he may feel that his only purpose in life uh, is to take care of those with whom he has hobnobbed with uh, all of his life. Uh, that's not why we uh, come to Washington. We come to Washington to uplift the quality of life for those people who sent us here. And hopefully, uh, at some point in the not too distant future, uh, uh, Mr. Romney will get in touch with that reality. So but it certainly I, I, escapes I, if, him. I, if I may, I just want to take you back to something you just said. You just said on our air that Mr. Romney is building his resume, that the office yes. of the president is something that can be added to his curriculum vitae as is CEO of Bain, governor of Massachusetts. I mean, do you really That's believe right. that, sir, that he has That's absolutely no interest in service? It's all about what the country can do for his resume. That's exactly what I feel, uh, and, and if he has a different notion, he ought to be laying out some kind of uh, a vision uh, for his service. I think people are crying out and uh, wanting to know exactly what it is uh, that we will be getting uh, if we were to elect you. He seems to say, trust, uh, trust me, uh, I'm going to be there for you. Well, in this instance, I'm a Ronald Reagan Democrat. Yes, trust, but verify. And that's what we can't seem to get from this, uh, this candidate, not even on his taxes. Trust me, I paid my fair share. Well, let's verify whether or not you did. Let's take a look uh, at your tax records uh, before you decided to run for president so we'll know whether or not you ought to be trusted. Congressman James Clyburn of South Carolina, thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Coming up. Why is